It's amazing to consider that I'm holding in my hands the place where someone once felt, thought, and loved. From just looking at it, there's nothing to suggest very much ability at all. It appears rather gruesome, wrinkled like a walnut, and with the consistency of mushroom. For centuries, scientists have been battling to understand what this unappealing object is all about. The philosopher Aristotle of ancient Greece believed that the brain helped regulate the body's temperature. A runny nose was the cooling fluid leaking out of the brain. He reasoned that since the heart beat faster when you were excited, it must be responsible for our feelings and thoughts. It's easy to laugh at him now, but Aristotle was the first person to think seriously about how the human body worked. We've come a long way since the 4th century BC. Now we can actually see inside a living brain. Medical scanners prove the brain is indeed where we think and feel. When a particular area of my brain is working hard, extra blood flows there through my arteries to provide energy for the active nerve cells. The scanner can detect these changes in blood flow, giving us a completely new window into the fascinating world of the mind. Using this technique, we can actually watch the brain at work. Here, I'm listening to music. Not one, but several areas light up. This part of the brain is where we process all sounds, and this is where we appreciate music. Amazingly, there are even separate bits for melody, for rhythm, and for pitch. But what's actually happening deep inside the brain? It's a fascinating story, but it's complicated. It all starts with this tree-like structure, a single brain cell or neuron. Here is an actual neuron, magnified 10,000 times. Neurons are the tiny building blocks of the brain. They do something remarkable, which prompts all our thoughts. They fire an electrical impulse. Amazingly, we can now see one firing. This is the first time it's been shown on television. The electricity is bursting along the neuron at 400 kilometers an hour. Here we're seeing it in slow motion. Within a tiny fraction of a second, it's ready to fire again. Your brain has a staggering 100 billion of these neurons. Together, they could generate enough electricity to illuminate a light bulb. To make things more complicated still, the branches of each neuron are connected to thousands of other neurons. It's hard to grasp the sheer scale of all these connections. Imagine a bustling city the size of New York. Give every person in that city 10,000 pieces of string. Tell each person to attach each piece of string to a different person. Now make the city a thousand times bigger. This is the incredible tangle we call the brain. And there's more. Go deeper into this tangle, travel along a single neuron, and take a close look at the junction with its neighbor. Oddly, the neurons are not physically joined together at all. There's a tiny gap. To bridge this gap, the neurons release minute quantities of chemicals every time they fire. Chemical go-betweens that influence our thoughts. <laughs> 